everyone, Joel Hansen here. Today we are in Burlington, Ontario at the Judge and Jury, which is an English British style pub. And in front of me is an absolute delicious looking spread of food. I am so excited. So, first we have their blue burger, burger, blue cheese, female bacon, all those delicious toppings. Here then I have their uh, shaved striploid sandwich. Looks absolutely delicious. I'm a huge beef person and I have some uh, sweet potato fries with it. I then got their double burger, which looks absolutely delicious. This is what they call their brisket, smoked brisket sandwich. It looks absolutely delicious. Brisket, cheese, got some uh, coleslaw, some avocado on there. I'm a big brisket, big beef fan, big barbecue person. Then got two pounds of their hot and butter wings. So it's like Frank's red sauce, butter. It's like, an, or like a, a real and traditional buffalo sauce. Love it, looks absolutely delicious. Then I have a massive two-piece fish and chips. Beer batter, it looks great. Of course, got some coleslaw with that. And here I have their bacon burger. We got female bacon, regular bacon. Of course, fully top burger. So that's about it. <laughs> not to say that's not a lot of food. This is an absolutely monstrous amount of food. Portions are super generous. These sandwiches look great, burgers look great, and that we're just gonna dive into it. All right, so I think a good place to start is probably with this fish and chips. It looks absolutely delicious. Just look at that. Look at that, that's how I, oh yeah, that good crunch. All right, I do have some tartar sauce, some ketchup, my favorites. So yeah, some tartar sauce. Try it on this good old lovely looking piece of fish. I'll also do have some lemon. We'll do it for the, the Brits out there. All right, let's try this. Homemade tartar sauce, delicious filet. You just can't beat that. I'm a big fish and chips person. Absolutely love it. Lovely. Yeah, got my good old friend, Mr. Tartar Sauce. And I'm also a big ketchup fan. I put ketchup on it as well. Gives a nice little bit of sweetness. That ketchup tartar combo, that's my favorite right there. Mm. Mm. Huge fillet, really generous portion. Really nice and rich tartar sauce as well. I'm a big ketchup person. Just look at that. It just looks so delicious. Love it. Phenomenal. Lovely. I like french fries, nice and crunchy. I'm a well done french fry person. And those are done exactly the way I like it. Of course, got some coleslaw. Mm. Woo! That is delicious. That coleslaw is actually some of the best I've had in a very, very, very long time. Just phenomenal. It's it's creamy, but it's very crisp, it's fresh. Let's dive into this blue burger. Love a pickle. Some people like pickles. Some people don't like pickles. I like pickles. All right. Try this lovely looking blue burger. It smells delicious. It's a big burger too. Mm. That's a big bite. Mm. Very generous portion of blue cheese on that. How's everything tasting so far? It's excellent. Good? Thank you. Mm. Good. Really good. 
the uh, the female bacon and that blue cheese absolutely accent each other. If you like that bitterness, that sourness of blue cheese, you'll love that. Got some lovely looking onion rings. Mm. I'm a big onion ring fan. Just listen to that crunch. Mm. Absolutely delicious. I guarantee I'll go through that whole bottle of ketchup. You got the awesome looking bacon burger with two kinds of bacon, female bacon and bacon. These things are stacked huge, I'll tell you that much. Very, very big burgers. Good portion. I can tell they took the burgers and threw it onto a grill, like a charbroil grill kind of thing. Nice flavor. All right, let's take on this last burger before we eat into these delicious looking sandwiches. Super excited. Okay, this is heavy. Holy jump, this is huge. Look at that thing. Look at that, onion straws, lots of beef, Looks delicious. Now this one, I don't know if I can fit that all in a bite. That is uh, mm. barely, that's a stretch. Mm. Big burger. No shortage of food too, food I'll tell you that much. Ooh. Again, I like the doneness of the fries, but I want to get to the rest of these uh, <coughs> sandwiches and wings. Well, it's still hot. Put that aside for now. Let's go for this lovely, delicious looking shaved <coughs> strip loin sandwich. Whew. That just looks delicious. Delicious might not even cut it. This looks absolutely scrumptious. Ciabatta bun, garlic butter, getting some fried mushrooms on there, some onion straws. That is rich, that is savory. This is juicy. Mm. That's a huge sandwich. Look at that. That's impressive. That is a sandwich, I'll tell you that much. Beef. I'm a big, I like beef. So we've been eating for, uh, you know, 15 minutes right now. Damn, that is good. Just look at that. Just look at that. And this, this special, or this sandwich is special. 
I've heard their weekly specials are always on point, and this is on point. I'll tell you that much. Very impressive. Some fried onions in there as well. That was a beefy sandwich. No pun intended. Damn, that thing was huge. I wasn't expecting to be that big. Yeah, I'm super impressed with these portions there. I have a uh, sweet potato fry with a chipotle mayo. Really good. I'm gonna go ahead and sweet potato fries. I'm a big sweet potato fry person. Oh, come on, focus. There you go. They're cooked perfectly because they're crispy, but they're not burnt. And the sweet potato fries because they hold a lot more moisture. I find often people over overcook them or undercook them, but these are perfect. But again, I want to get to this sandwich. Well, it's hot because this looks delicious. All right, so brisket and me are like the best of friends. I'm a big smoked brisket person. So the, f oh my, oh my gosh. This must weigh, this one piece, there's no way this half a sandwich is not weigh at least a pound, if not more. Just look at it. Smoked brisket, avocado, Coleslaw. Holy job, I almost swore there. That's when you know things are getting real. Let's see. Let's do this bit. All right. Oh boy, that's a big bite. sweetness in there oh it's so huge mm. it's just so juicy dripping everywhere you know who said that oh boy this is just this is a this is a monstrous sandwich incredibly rich from both that Brisket, the avocado, love the coleslaw for a crisp crunch. I did not expect these sandwiches to be that big though. Holy crap, massive. Like I said, this, this half was at least a pound if not more. There's a cheese on here as well. It tastes like, um, it's definitely an aged, like an aged cheese. It's white, it's probably like H mozzarella or something of some sort, but very, very impressive. Whoa. Again, not expect these things to be so big. I have never received a sandwich so big, but I've ordered one off a menu. I am impressed. Very much so. Oh my gosh. Again, the weight of this. Absolutely crazy. And just so juicy. Very generous with the avocado. And the beef, holy crap. Again, so savory, so rich. You definitely only need one of these sandwiches, even for a big eater. One is, in this case, enough. Delicious, but woo. Again, good fries. 
nice and crispy, good amount of salt on them. Go ahead and get those wings. All right, here we go. A huge, huge pile of wings. This is the double order, like the two pounds. I remember they're hot and butter. So the franks and butter. It's like a real traditional buffalo wing. For those of you who are wondering what, how buffalo wings were made, so chicken wings actually didn't used to actually be eaten at all. Chicken wings used to just be thrown out. But in Buffalo, at a place called the Anchor Bar, whoever owned the Anchor Bar at the time, had a bunch of hungry kids. And they didn't have much left in regards to chicken at the moment. So she said, well, I'll fry you up some wings. And she mixed them with Frank's Red Hot Sauce and butter. The kids liked it. And hence, the Buffalo Wing was born. And you can tell the difference between a commercial buffalo sauce and a homemade buffalo sauce. A lot richer, more savory. Good sized wings. Everything here is actually way bigger than you normally get. Huge portions. A lot of food. Woo! Last two wings, they're good. I'm just, there's a lot of food. The portions were way bigger than I could have expected. So this is a time where food almost beats me, I'll tell you that much. Or I should say my eyes are bigger than my stomach is. Is that how the saying goes? Because if that is how the saying goes, I don't think my eyes are quite that big. All right. That was a lot of food. Woo! Of course, we have our healthy vegetables here. Being some carrots and some celery. You always need your health. I actually like it when restaurants send carrots and celery with wings because it, it gives you a nice crunch, a nice flavor. And I'm pretty sure this is a blue cheese dressing. Let's see. Blue cheese dressing, which is also a very buffalo thing. A lot of people like the buffalo sauce, buffalo wings, and they dip them in the blue cheese dressing. I didn't today. Excuse me. I love vegetables. So seriously, we literally just got to try pretty much everything at the judge and jury. Delicious food, very much enjoyed it. The portions are absolutely massive. Like, I'm a big eater, and these portions blew me out of the water. Like, literally, they almost blew me out of the water. That was impressive. 
super huge portions. The sandwiches, the specials, absolutely delicious. That fish and chips was excellent. The burgers were hearty. It was great. Very, very much enjoyed it. So if you're ever in the Burlington area, you want a place for a nice, hearty, well-portioned size meal, the judge and jury. Of course, I do have you know some fries, some potato fries. I'm not bothered with those. That was delicious. That was enough for me. So yeah, so that everybody, I want to thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And that till next time, stay happy, healthy, hungry. So this is for you. Until next time. Happy eating.